Hi everybody, this is Paul Isley, Mr. Talanzia from Rainforest Flora with another edition of Tilly Talks. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a special hybrid to show you how it works. And we have two species here. Uh, and here we have three plants of, two, of one species. This is Talanzia bulbosa gigante. It's one that grows really large. And you can see this one has got a bunch of seed pods on it. Each seed pod will have approximately 30 seeds inside of it uh, for when they, uh, the pods ripen and open and then you take the seeds out if you want to. They're pretty easy to grow. And this one you can see the ancestral plant here, the mother plant, and it begat these two offsets. And so now it's like a little clump that's going along and in a couple of more years, if you leave them together, you'll have a bunch of them. You can also see the root formation here, a lot of roots. When the roots have yellow tips, it means they're alive and growing. Uh, you can cut all the roots off. You could cut the dead roots off and just leave the live growing roots. It's totally up to you. It makes no difference for the plant. So that's Talanzia bulbosa gigante. This is a really pretty species, not very common. Let me get the wire out of here. This is called Talantia flagellata. And as you can see, this flagellata is finishing its blooming cycle. When you have the corolla, the three petals, and then you have the anthers, which have the pollen, and you have the stigma, which is the female part that accepts the pollen. Uh, when they stick out like that, the anthers and the stigma, then that's the subgenus Talantia of the genus Talanzia. So flagellata is in the subgenus Talanzia. And you can see there are a lot of um, past blooms here. And you can see there are three or four flowers that are just coming out. Talanzias bloom from the bottom of a spike to the top. These individual segments are called floral bracts and each floral bract will produce a flower. And they start from the bottom and the flowers come up all the way to the top. And once you get to the top and it flowers, that's the end of the line. The blooming cycle for that plant is over. And then you start the development of the vegetative offsets. This one doesn't have any so far. So here we have Talanzia flagellata. Here we have Talanzia bulbosa, both in the subgenus Talanzia. So when you cross these two, you get a plant called Albert the Great. One of my heroes who lived in the 12th hundreds, you should uh, Google it, a real amazing human being. So this is uh, Albert the Great, and this is the hybrid of Flagellata and Bulbosa. And you can see that the leaves are straight. They're not really wavy like they are with Bulbosa. Um, that comes from the Flagellata. The plant is huge compared really to either parent. This one has not started flowering yet, so it's still growing. It's about two feet in diameter and maybe a foot and a half high. So that's what, about 45 centimeters height and about 60 centimeters wide. Uh, one of our favorite plants, just an awesome plant. We lost most of them in the fire a year and a half ago, but uh, we still have some. They're growing back actually. A lot of them burned and the leaves were kind of gone, but the base stayed there and now they're growing out. So, that was today's edition of Tilly Talks, uh, not a real long one, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see all of you next time around. Bye-bye.